Hi kids, welcome to day 95 of Storytime with Anne. The title of our story today is A Bag of Potatoes. Shall we pray? Good and gracious, loving Father, Lord, we would like to thank you for this day. May you be with us as we go through today's story. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The kindergarten class teacher decided to get the kids to play a game for one week. He asked every child to bring some potatoes to school. For each person they hate, they were to bring a potato and name the potato after that person. So every kid was to bring a bag of potatoes with the number of people that he or she hates. So if that child hated five people, they were to bring five potatoes. If they hated ten people, they were to bring ten potatoes. On the promised day, every kid brought a bag of potatoes with them. Some had two potatoes, some had three potatoes, some had five potatoes, Someone even had 15 potatoes. Each child with potatoes numbering the number of people that they hated. The teacher then told them the terms of the game. Every kid was to carry their bag of potatoes with them wherever they were to go. For just that one week. So if they had to go to the toilet, they were to carry their bag. If they were to go for break, they had to carry their bag. At lunchtime, they had to carry their bag of potatoes home and bring it back in the morning. They were to carry it everywhere they go. As the day passed, the children were starting to get tired. The potatoes were heavy. It was funny at first, but with time, their shoulders and hands began to hurt. And as more days passed, a stinky smell began to come out of the bags of potatoes. So not only were they to bear the weight of the bag, but they had to bear the smell of the potatoes too. Of course, the more potatoes, the more the smell, and the heavier the bag. At the end of the week, the kids were happy because the game was over. The teacher then asked them how they felt whilst carrying their bags of potatoes for a week. Each kid started complaining about the frustrations and hardships they faced while carrying the stinky and heavy bag of potatoes wherever they went. After that, the teacher decided to explain the point of the game. And this is what he said. This is exactly the situation when you hate someone in your heart. Hate will pollute your heart, and you will have to carry that hatred with you wherever you go. If you cannot stand the smell and weight of potatoes for a week, can you imagine the smell and weight of the hatred you have in your heart? True love is not to love a person because they are nice to you. Or because they are good. True love is to love someone who may be imperfect, but to love them fully and properly, regardless of what they do or what they are to you. The same way you love them is the same way that they will end up treating you with time. And the same way you do not like the, the smell 
of the potatoes that you had to move around with the whole week the same way you should not like the hate that you carry around with you every day. You should love everyone. And that's the end of our story. Our verse for today is 1st John chapter 2 verse 9. Anyone who claims to be in the light but hates a brother or a sister is still in the darkness. Anyone who claims to be in the light but hates a brother or a sister is still in the darkness. It is now time for our song. Love each other, love each other as brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters. In honor others, in honor others, more than yourself, more than yourself. Romans 12, 10, Romans 12, 10. God gave us family, we can help in love. we gifts to each other from up above. You and me are the people we see. each other, love each other, as brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters, in honor others, in honor others, more than yourself, more than yourself, Romans 12, 10, Romans 12, 10, God gave us family, we can help in love, we gifts to each other from up above. Each other, love each other, as brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters, in honor others, in honor others, more than yourself, more than yourself. Romans twelve ten, Romans twelve ten. Hi everyone. Welcome to Bible Poetry Time with Shiko. Today our poem is Psalm 51. A great man plans another's ruin. He even boasts that he's evil. He's always inventing lies, but the Lord's love is eternal. He will ruin him forever. He will become a laughing stock as he didn't depend for safety and security in God's rock. But I trust in God's constant love. I'll thank him for what he's done. I'll proclaim all of his goodness in the presence of everyone. This is the end of our poem today. Thank you for listening. And that, kids, brings us to the end of today's program. Our prayer focus for today is to ask God to teach us how to love. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, Lord, we would like to thank you for today's story. Today we have learned that we need to love one another, that we must not hate. Lord, help us to be able to forgive those people that we do not like because they've done something to us. May we be able to show them love and forget what they have done. Help us to spread love, gracious Father. Lord, we ask that you help us to trust you. May we proclaim your goodness and mercy and love to all the world. Dear Father, may you teach us how to love. You, O Lord, showed us the greatest love of all. You gave your Son to die for us. And we want to have such love. Thank you, Lord, for we know you have heard our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So from me and Auntie Rico 
It's bye until tomorrow.